Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Dark Purple Shadow. Today, I'm going to be talking about my next upgrade. Currently, I'm with a GTX 1080 and an i7 6700, and I'm pretty damn happy with it. Considering I have an eight-year-old system now, it's performing quite well and honestly exceeding expectations. Now, I don't want to upgrade to a 4000 series NVIDIA GPU. In fact, I don't even want an AMD GPU. I want the next the next gen, which is a 5000 series. And uh, currently I'm basically quite intrigued by the news that there is possibly a release of the next RTX, which is the RTX 5090 um, due towards the tail end of this year or more likely early next year. The expected launch is meant to be around CES 2025, which is the Consumer Electronics Show in Los Angeles. And uh, this new graphics card will be using the brand new Blackwell architecture. Sounds a bit like Bakewell, I'm getting a bit hungry. And the rumored specs are 25,000 CUDA cores, which is massive compared to the current Nvidia RTX 4090, which has 16,000. I didn't want to say only because 16,000 is still a disgustingly large amount of CUDA cores. My GTX 1080 for good measure has around 2,500 or 2,500, which is absolutely tiny compared to the number that will be released in the brand new RTX 5090 if these rumors are anything to go by. The memory bus will be 448 bit. It will be rocking GDDR7 memory, which is meant to have a transfer speed of 28 gigabytes per second, a boost clock of 2.9 gigahertz and a 1,532 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth. Power consumption is meant to exceed 600 watts. Now that is absolutely crazy. I, let alone buying the card, I probably couldn't afford to run it with the current electricity prices in the UK, but that's a lot more than the 4090. The 4090 is around 450 watts and I think the 4080 and 48 Super are around the same which again is a lot of power consumption, still less than a toaster, but still quite a lot because you're using these cards for hours on end. Obviously you're not maxing them out all day, every day, but you, you are gonna be seeing your bills increase if you get one of these compared to you know a weaker uh, GPU from the same generation. It's rumored to be a smaller form factor than the 4090, which is great because it's looking at the size of the 4090, it's about as big as a old school ITX case on its own. And there's potential delays that have been happening to the 5090. So I have a feeling they probably wanted to release it this year, 2024. However, because of these delays around the thermal management and uh, quality assurance process, everything has been delayed going forwards. Now, the, the, the performance difference between a 5090 and a 4090 is pretty, pretty significant. Uh, I will not be getting a 5090 unless I win the lottery between now and the time the 5090 comes out. I just don't think that it is a, a good, smart use of money. However, the 5080 seems a bit more up my alley and th there is something to be said about going from an 80 series graphics card, a Pascal 80 series, to just jumping to the newest Blackwell 80 series. And I'm, I'm quite interested as to see how powerful this uh, 5080 will be. And I have heard rumors that the 5080 will actually be released before the 5090, which would be interesting. I do hope that the chipset for the 50, 5090 is the same as the 5080, because in this generation, 4000 series, I think a lot of people are realizing that the 4090 is actually its own beast, is sitting way out front because it is a completely different uh, die, it's its own die. So actually, the 4080 is a totally different chip. It is the top top of its own kind of die, but it is a totally different chip. So it should be interesting. Uh, obviously, I think NVIDIA will definitely do something different and amazing. They have gone from 2022, which, which is when the 49 was released, um, to now being the biggest company in the world. The I think still the biggest stock in the world, which is absolutely insane. And there is no sign of them slowing down. They dominate the AI space. They dominate the gaming space and they will be dominating these spaces for the foreseeable future. There's no competition from AMD. There's very limited competition from anyone else. So I think Nvidia will be doing something that really, really sets them apart from everybody else. So I wouldn't be surprised if the performance jump in the, the 5090 is absolutely insane. Now, obviously, 
it's not guaranteed that it would even release next year. It probably will release next year, but it's not guaranteed. Um, and, you know, we don't know what the situation is. However, um, these rumours, there's no smoke without fire. And these rumours are spreading for a reason. There is probably some information brewing, something on the horizon. Now, with the 5090, obviously the performance is, is noted to be quite high. It wouldn't surprise me because of the pl place NVIDIA is in. And it wouldn't surprise me if they really want to want to set a precedent uh, maybe this will be the next gtx 1080 ti obviously um, probably not as affordable as that card but we'll see in terms of pricing obviously um, american pricing you're probably going to be looking at about two thousand dollars i think i think there will be a price increase especially for the 5090 i thought that the 40 uh, the 5080 might release at a slightly um, more manageable price point probably not the twelve hundred dollars um UK prices, I think you're probably going to be able to get a 5080, maybe not on release, but eventually quite soon after release for about a thousand pounds. And um, the, the 5090 will probably be close to 1800 pounds, you know, maybe maybe even rocking above that. So um, it will be similar price points to this year, this um, current generation of graphics cards, mainly because the climate has changed. Obviously, economically, things are a lot tougher. Inflation is still present, but it has slowed so um it's difficult for them to they probably still could but it's difficult for them to just keep things the way they were i think they, they're not going to increase the prices too high obviously i will probably be proven wrong um but we'll see so yeah that is the current situation with the the 5090s release on the horizon and the current information i have around it um obviously it will be interesting to see i really do hope the 5080 is a good purchasable consumer card in terms of anything below that the 5070s the 5060s i hope they're good good cards as well i hope it's a it's a bit of a redemption arc i hope it's similar to pascal um we get good price to performance and hopefully amd bring something good to the table as well because um they have become a bit lazy because of i think their their processor division doing really well so hopefully amd from the radian side of things do something amazing as well because uh, consumers are hurting. Please tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you very much.